Welcome to part two, ladies and gentlemen. This one I dedicate to all my kings that are ready to up their life, that are ready to better their life. Like the video if you're all about bettering your life, fellas. And we're gonna get into this one. Check this out. You're gonna see real delusion. In three, two, one, roll it. I'm here today because I need some more money from baby daddy, okay? Okay. Um, he's been doing a lot of social media stuff and I'm like, oh yeah. Let me have some more money because my baby needs it. Okay. Oh, he's living his best life, okay? Yeah, she jelly. But look at those nails. Tells me that she's one of those women that don't have a job, right? She got queen as a tattoo, okay? He's, how, how good is he living? Oh, he's he living good. He's going on trips after trips. He's flashing money. Mm. And he, he just recently flashed a little ring, I guess he gave one of his little chicks. It sounds like she's bitter. <laughs> and just wants to get back at him. She didn't mention the kid once, but was sure to mention he was enjoying his life, yep, which is yep. unacceptable and only means he isn't paying enough child support. I just need my money. All right, so you need the money for your son, right? Yes. Okay, and it's not your money, it's your son's money. I think I'm gonna put him in karate too. Ma'am. She going too far, Nate. You are, you know what? You just came here to waste my time. So I just you, want my son to be in everything. I just want him to be It sounds like you want to tell me you want to put him in everything so you can get more money off of this man. Yes. And I'm sorry, I'm not here to play in your little petty game. Sure. And yeah, I'm not going to mom. do that. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. So you know what I'm going to do? Since you came here to waste my time, I'm going to make sure I don't waste any more of yours. I'm denying your request and dismissing this case. Really? Really? I am. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. W judge. I can't believe. Yeah, you, 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 like the, the judges are real queen. The judges are Me real is. queen right there. Well, w I can't judge. believe you came in here to play these games. Mm -hmm. My son needs some money. No, it sounds like you want the money, ma'am. Is there anything further? My mm -hmm. new husband mm -hmm. is a fantastic provider. I do get an allowance okay. about five hundred dollars a week. How much money does your husband make? I'm really not sure. The car that he drives was about two hundred thousand. You only get five hundred dollar a week. Mm. You know what? That's not my business. That's not the reason I'm here. His success has nothing to do with me or my daughter or okay. our daughter. And uh, okay, I just... so that's like her new hubby, I'm assuming, right? Okay. So yeah. <laughs> so it looks like that he, even he wants money from uh, her ex, I guess, right? Just want a little more help. What we can do, ma'am, is then make work. you pay more in child support. Well, how much are, are we talking about? We're going to base it off that $500 a week allowance that you make. Okay. So your child support obligation monthly comes out to $396. Notice how he only wanted help for his daughter, while she wanted to get back at her ex using her kid as a shield. I'm not sure why nobody wants to speak up about this, but I guess I'll be the one to do it. Okay. Go there queen. is a serious shortage of attractive, eligible... Yeah, eligible, mentally stable women. I agree, I agree. Eligible, mentally stable, emotionally available men. Uh, woman is what she's trying to say. We need to get a search party together. Figure out what has happened, where have they gone, and what do we do about this? Y'all are just becoming more masculine, and a masculine dude don't want a masculine woman. He wants a feminine woman. Because it's a problem. Look, I have said this before, and I will say it again. There is no shortage of good men. It is simply that you don't see the men that are good men in your life as dateable. But they're probably good friends. Like, they're probably in your friend zone. And then yeah. for the good men that aren't in your life, it is because they're not looking to date. Yes, they yes. probably spent far too long in a yes. relationship that took advantage of... She gets it. She gets it. Yeah, she gets it, bro. She gets it because all the good men are chilling at home right now, man. They've been burnt many, many times by these horses out there. You feel what I'm saying? Of their goodness. Those men are... Like the video if she is talking about you. Either working, they're either at home or they're just hanging out with friends or doing some sort of hobby in seclusion. Nobody yeah, talks yeah. about this, Absolutely. but it is very difficult very difficult to be attracted to the person that is good for you. Like good on paper, right? Like they're good. Like you know that this is a good choice for you, but something, something is missing and you don't know what it is. It's that you're looking, most likely you're looking for that chaotic, 
adrenaline rush that you get when you like the person that is not good for you. Honestly, just grow up. That's all this. I continue to hear women say nonsense yeah. like this. I mean, like, listen, if I want to play games, I got PlayStation out here, bro. Like, I, I, I'm just saying, I got PlayStation to play games on. She even admitted it. She's saying pre healing, it's hard to stop doing this behavior. Basically saying that women who do this are injured. Where are the men who would wake up just so they could be the man who wakes up next to you? Well, I'm sorry to have to break it to you, but those men, they've already woken up and they've left. Because you see, <laughs> men have now realized there's no real benefit to waking up next to you. We've seen that while you demand, demand, demand things from us, you offer little to nothing in return. At least not anything we can't already get without involving ourselves in a relationship with you. And on top of that, for decades now, y'all told us you didn't want us. Y'all told us you didn't need us. Mm. We heard you. And now we're off making a better life for ourselves. One that doesn't involve you. Would we like to have a great relationship? Sure, who wouldn't? Sure. But wow, men yeah. have finally figured out that the risk simply isn't worth the reward anymore. Yep. And now yep. that you yep. guys are figured out that we figured it out, well, now you're wondering, where did all the men go? And then mm. there's this. Like, where are the men who would walk 500 miles? And I would walk 500 miles. Now you know why I was never the lead singer. Okay, so she's saying, like, where are the men that would walk to them 500 miles? I mean, they wouldn't want to, like, walk 500 miles if you're not ready to come halfway. You, you know what I mean? Like, if you're down for halfway, then I'm, I'm ready to do 250 miles. 250 for you, 250 for me. Equal rights, equal miles. Feel I'm sane. Like the video, if you feel I'm sane right now. Singer in any of the bands I was in. Anyway, last I knew, they were raking in the royalties still from that song they created 30 years ago that I still can't get out of my head. And then walk another 500 miles for a total of a thousand just to fall down at your door. No, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but there's no way in hell I'm singing that god awful song to you. All kidding aside, the point I want to make is that. Women often want men to meet the expectations of things they hear in songs or see in the movies. As yeah. I frequently call it, they're searching for that perfect Disneyland prince, the one that doesn't actually exist, but yet they all think does and that they deserve. Men see it for what it is, an expectation of perfection, something no one can achieve. And this this man is talking from experience. I, I can tell you that. Like This man probably has went through a lot of heartbreaks. This man has went through through the mud bro like i can i can tell man this man is talking with wisdom bro so when he's talking with wisdom all i do is listen bro knowing that why would they enter into a relationship with someone who expects that of them someone who actually believes a man should walk 500 a thousand even a million miles just to be with them men are done playing these silly little games ladies yeah, life is yeah. not a rom-com or some romantic song life is well life and the completely mm. unrealistic expectations that you've all set now oh wait mm. sorry the higher standards have reached a level of absurdity that men look at it and go yeah no more yeah and all of these uh queens want like a a prince that's making like half a million dollars a year on average seconds make 50k bro 50 55k a year that's average and these queens right they're like hey if you want half a million prince and they think everybody makes half a million. I mean, they don't think everybody makes a half a million, but they do believe that generally, like, most people make half a million, which is not true. On average, it's, like, just a very few percentage of men that make half a million dollars or more. It's very, very few. And, and those types of men that you're looking to get, I mean, those men, they don't want you, bro. Like, simply put, you're way too masculine for that. You're, you, uh, you're like, high maintenance, though, so we're done, especially when they realize that they're not gonna get anything in return no matter how hard they work to woo you over. Where are they at? Well, to wrap this up, where they're at is sitting home or hanging out with their buds, playing video games, playing guitar, enjoying life, no longer having to deal with the drama, no longer having to deal with the financial drain of expensive dates, only to get ghosted shortly thereafter, no longer dealing with the ridiculous expectations, oh, sorry, higher standards, that you've all set. Ladies, I'm sorry to tell you, but men didn't create this situation. You did. But you men did. have now seen it for what it is, and they're done and walking away. And the yep. really sad part is, they ain't coming back anytime soon. Prize, w. prize. A female director behind a movie that focused on how society overlooks women gets overlooked by one of the most prestigious awards. 
Greta Gerwig and Margaret Robbie miss key nominations. Uh oh. In cinema. In the real world, you don't get participation trophies. Instead, you get rewarded based on how good of a job you do. I agree though, I but. About privacy. Check his phone, check his laptop, check his computer, his work computer, his tablet. Check it off. You need to be absolutely sure. And I will tell you why I advocate for this. Ten years ago, I was engaged to a man who, for the entire year that we were engaged, was giving me all of the signs that he was hiding something. I knew deep down in my gut that this man was cheating on me, but I had no evidence of it. The one thing I hadn't done, though, was I hadn't checked his phone. Now, I mm. have the password to his phone, and I know in his mind he thought that by giving me the password that was somehow making him look more trustworthy, but he had this phone glued to his body like it was an organ. And when we first <laughs> met, that phone used to go off constantly. I always heard texts come through. I always heard phone calls come through, Snapchats, whatever. But all of a sudden, like maybe a month after we were together, he had silenced everything on his phone. I never heard any notifications come through. Then mm. he started hiding his phone under the pillow at night. Now, when I go to sleep at night, my phone's on the charger, but he always had his phone under the pillow. But then Super Bowl Sunday comes around. Yeah, that, that's a red flag. <laughs> <laughs> That's a red flag. And his team that he bet on one, so he got completely wasted and knocked the hell out in bed and had no idea that I had pulled that phone out from under the pillow. So I go through the phone and he thought he was smart. He had deleted all the text messages and all of the pictures and video on his phone itself, but what he forgot about was the cloud. So I went through the cloud and guess what I found? I found hundreds of photos and videos of him photos and videos of him with multiple women. I probably counted, I think, over 20 at that point, but I'm he, he was just playing PlayStation, uh, games on PlayStation with them, probably, right? Sure, based on the information I later got that he had cheated on me with over 50, maybe 100. Mm. Now, imagine if I hadn't trusted my instincts. If you enjoyed this video... Guys, check out this video on the screen. You feel what I'm saying? This was the last episode that we done. This one, I dedicated this for my young bucks out there. To my kings out there, don't just the pom-pom, guys. Check out this video on the screen. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left.